little difficult from the air because the buildings kind of shadow the streets, but no doubt a lot of activity on the ground right now. And um, in terms of the firefighting capabilities, when you get up to this high level, uh, I assume the firefighters have got to get up there and, uh, you know, fight it from inside. Oh, uh, if you're taking a look now, you can wow. see that we've just had another explosion, and that is considerably lower. And is that in the other building? Is that, that what I'm witnessing? The building was designed to have a fully loaded 707 crash into it. That was the largest plane at the time. I believe that the building probably could sustain multiple impacts of jetliners because this structure is like the mosquito netting on your screen door, this intense grid. And the jet plane is just a pencil puncturing that screen netting. It really does nothing to the screen netting. Well, 13,000 tons is a lot of force. Uh, people always talk about an airplane crashing into a building. And in 1944 or 45, a plane did crash into the Empire State Building. But the largest aircraft flying today, at least commercially, the 747, fully loaded, is on the order of 300 tons. So if you think about a 300 ton element crashing into a building that's been designed to carry 13,000 tons, you can see that an aircraft crashing into the World Trade Center would probably not do anything to the major building. It could affect localized structural elements, could knock out a column, and there could be some, some damage. But as far as a plane knocking a building over of that type that would